This is Dr. Lanceris from 360WoundCare.com and today I'm going to be demonstrating the SEMS-Weinstein uh, SEMS monofilament testing for loss of protective sensation in the diabetic foot. The monofilament test is performed with a standardized monofilament. The ideal is to use a disposable monofilament as a reusable monofilament can expose the patient to infection and over time the filament will wear out leading to less reproducible results. As you see on the model here there are 10 positions that are demonstrated for ideal testing for the monofilament test. There's nine on the plantar surface of the foot and there's one on the dorsal surface of the foot at the web space between the first uh, and second toes. The test is very easy to perform, relatively inexpensive. Some of the things you want to watch out for when you're performing the test is to avoid areas that are obviously ulcerated or have heavy accumulation of callus. Try to find alternative sites if possible. A positive test is signified by greater than four out of the ten points being insensate. The test is simply performed by taking the monofilament and pressing it against the skin until it just begins to bend. Ideally you'll want the patient to demonstrate a yes or a no if they feel the sensation. Some tips and tricks is to vary the rhythm at which you perform the test as some patients will get familiar with the rhythm so you want to vary how often you're pressing and you also want to alternate sites not using consecutive sites. This adds a little bit of randomness to the test and helps the test to be a little bit more accurate. It's very important to apply even and equal pressure to the monofilament when it's in contact with the foot. Ideally you want to just push until you see the monofilament bending. That's all the pressure that you need 